What is going on, YouTube people? Just as I'm walking out the door to the National, Grading with Golden is announced. Tinfoil Hat Brigade, unite. Your call to action is here. The Tinfoil Hat Brigade is going to love this one. So, this is essentially PSA's version of what BGS and CSG have done with PWCC, except it is with Golden and PSA. You can submit your cards to Golden. They will take care of all the legwork, send them over to PSA for you, PSA will grade them, and then you'll sell them on Golden if you so choose. Oh boy, oh boy. The comments on this one, people are going to love this one. The separation of church and state is over. So let's run through the details. I don't have a ton of time to record this one. I don't even know when this is going up. I'm recording it and I'm literally going to walk out the door to start driving to the national. You're probably seeing this. I have no idea when. Get your cards graded two weeks or less. Golden handles everything. Safe, most trusted brands in the hobby. I'm sure the tinfoil hat brigade will love that one. Fill out the forms below all this stuff. And then, so you actually, so the interesting thing with this is it's not, here's where this is a lot better than the PWCC version of this. You actually don't have to sell them on Golden the way that I'm reading all this. And I did not, I glanced at the fine print. So there could be something in there that I missed. I don't know. Like I said, not a ton of time for this one. But you could choose your service levels and you have the option to actually send value with this. It says 90 to 120 days. So you do not get the cheat the turnaround time on that. But everything else is 14 days if you do it with Golden. So economy, 14 days. Regular, 14 days. Express, 14 days. So you get express grading tiers on this, like super express service basically, uh, by submitting it this way. Now down here, it gives you options to what you want to do with the cards when they're done being graded. Do you want to sell on Golden? Do you want to send to the collector's vault? Return to me or discuss with Golden. So here's the turnaround times, 14 days, 14 days, 14 days, seven days on Super Express, three days on walkthrough. And then, like I said, you can select what you have done with the cards. Now, I don't know what return to me mean. I mean, I know what return to me means, but I don't know how that plays into this, what the shipping charges are back. Do you still get these express times, the 14 day turnaround time, if you have them returned to me? But 14 days for 50 bucks for PSA, up to $1,000 declared value, pretty good for PSA. Uh, you know, $100 a card at regular. Really, what this is designed for is probably more higher end stuff. Lower end stuff typically doesn't do as well on gold. So I'd be a little careful here with what you send. Uh, but if you just wanted to vault the stuff, I guess you could. Uh, or if you had something bigger that you wanted to move pretty quickly, I think this is what this is more designed for. But it it does at least allow you to send to the collector's vault so you're not immediately selling it. One of the criticisms I had of the PWCC situation was you would not have any timing of the market. You would send it off, it would get graded, and it would immediately list for sale, and that was it. You had no control over it. With this, you can at least say, hey, send that to my vault. I want to wait like a month before I list it. And then you could go ahead and probably list it on whatever the various marketplaces are, however that all ends up shaking out. Or you could just immediately sell on Golden or discuss it probably for super high-end items. Uh, terms and conditions, uh, I would strongly recommend you guys and girls reading through these. Like I said, I just gave this the quickest of glances. The big thing that I was curious about is payment for items, uh, because as we all know with the PWCC stuff, if it does not meet the minimum threshold, you lose the card. If it does not meet the $10, and obviously if it doesn't meet whatever the grading fee is, you would owe that as well. Kind of how this works, except it doesn't sound like they take the card. Um, charges for grading services shall be set by PSA. Payment due within seven days of the date of your invoice if Golden does not receive payment due. Uh, using the payment method you have on file. So this is if you are not selling. So if you just have them sent to the vault, within seven days, you have to pay for the grading fees. And then it says down here, if you do agree to sell any of the items on Golden, the fees incurred in the submission of the items to PSA will be deferred and deducted from the proceeds of the sales of the terms. 
If the proceeds of the sale are insufficient to make the full payment, outstanding charges related to your submission and the balance will be charged to your credit card. So it does not sound like they are keeping the card if something does not sell. Other things covered here are shipping, warranties, liabilities, that sort of nonsense. But to me, this to me, this number three bullet point here was the one that was the important one because that's what caused a lot of the guff with the PWCC stuff. So golden grading. What do we think? Conspiracy theorists? Um, I'm, I'm waiting for the comments down below. Uh, you know, this is, we all knew this was coming, uh, I think. Anyway, this is not, this is not shocking at all. Uh, you know, PSA and Golden are under the same umbrella of collectors. There's now the vault. There's now this. Uh, you know, they're going to continue to leverage each other. These companies continue to build out, as we have talked about a ton, continue to build out all these one-stop shops. They're all trying to get ahead of Fanatics coming into play and them rolling out whatever they end up rolling out. So to me, the biggest drawback to this is, is that you have to sell on gold. And that's just more because of the cards that I typically move in are not cards that make sense for gold. Maybe the gold marketplace becomes a little more, you know, eyeballs on with all this stuff that they're announcing and mid to lower end stuff, you know, hundred to thousand dollar cards have a nice place on golden. But as of right now, I just don't think that's the case. Uh, I've seen a lot of that stuff underperform, but I, I need to dig more into the golden selling platform. I really have not looked at it that strongly other than the watch, you know, high end Marvel auctions and uh, for their stuff. So I'm not super familiar with their marketplace and whatever they got rolling out for that. So that's something I'll have to put on the list for after the national. But, you know, Golden Plus PSA, not surprising at all. This, you know, 100% expected. And as we talked about when the uh, PWCC Beckett thing was announced, this is what you're going to continue to see. These mega corporations are going to continue to offer value-added services to get everything in-house. Their perfect world is you send, let's just call it a $100,000 LeBron card even not even a hundred thousand, a thousand dollar LeBron card to golden and PSA to get graded. They're getting the grading fee. Cool. You want to vault that. All right, cool. You want to sell it. Cool. We're going to sell it on golden. They get whatever their fee is that they get for selling it. Awesome. Plus I got the grading fee up front. Cool. The person that buys it, you want to just keep it in your golden vault, right? Right. Right. Keep it in the golden vault. A couple months later, they sell it. Cool. We get the fee off that rinse repeat. That's where, the angle is on this. They want to have the cards. I don't want to say tied up, but they want the cards in their inventory, I guess. And we are all the shoppers and the, the inventory is going to change hands all on paper. And then they just keep racking up the fees, the selling fees for, you know, you using their selling platform. That's what all these people want. That's what eBay wants with the eBay vault. That's what PWCC is trying to do. That's what fanatics will probably end up doing. It's going to come down to whatever selling platform stuff sells the best on is going to be a big driver of this. PSA is the dominant player in grading, whether it's demand on the primary or secondary market. eBay has the primary demand in regards to marketplace as it still gets the most eyeballs to this day, especially for low to mid end stuff. If PSA and Golden can figure out that $50 to $1,000 market if they want to, Maybe they got a chance to take off just because of the PSA grading aspect of it. We'll see. It would be really nice if PSA and eBay would just partner up, but that'll never happen. Uh, maybe CSG would with eBay at some point in time, but I don't know how much that would move the needle since they're already doing the authentication program. Even though eBay and PSA do authentication for uh, graded cards, I just don't ever see that happening uh, with them having competing selling platforms now. So this is really going to come down to how successful the golden selling platform is. We know that it's great for the ultra, ultra, ultra high end, but it needs to be great for a John Morant silver prism, a, uh, you know, a Vladimir Guerrero tops, Chrome refractor, Otani paper PSA 10. If they can figure that part out, maybe this would be a game changer right now. 
it's a niche case used for high end stuff, in my opinion, or, you know, higher end stuff, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 K stuff, if not more, you know, LeBron refractors, uh, super short print prism stuff, NT stuff, whatever. Uh, I think there's a use case for it for that 100%. You know, if Marvel PMGs were still ultra hot, this would have been a great use case for that. Send them there, get them graded in two weeks, boom, they're up on golden. Something along those lines, I could see it working for. An Otani refractor, I don't know that I see it. At least not yet. That's what's going to be what is going to drive all this. Eyeballs on the secondary market. We have too many platforms right now. We have too many platforms. Eyeballs are split in too many different places. That's worth a whole video on its own. We don't have time to deep dive it right now. But I'm off to the national. Curious for your thoughts and comments down below. Golden pairing up with PS. I mean, they've already been paired up, but you know what I mean? Uh, a formal submit grade with an auction house. This is not the first time we've seen this, obviously. PWCC does it with Beckett. PWCC does it with CSG. But this time, the grading company and the auction house are owned by the same company. I'm sure the commenters will be fine with that. I'm off to the national. Catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.